So today I'm answering a simple question that I've gotten in several comments. Should you register multiple drones? So just to make sure I was telling you what I needed to tell you, I did call my contact at the Little Rock FAA office and I ran this question by him. I let him know that this was a question that seems to be coming up in several comments. So um, yeah, he's aware of the question and um, he kind of gave me a little bit of an insight into it. So let me kind of tell you what the deal is about registering multiple drones. First off, you need to know there are two different types of registrations. Um, and there is one place to register um, legally. That is at the FAA dronezone.faa.gov. Make sure you go to that website because all of the others may end up charging you more than the five dollars. Um, but yeah, don't be scammed by any of those. You can watch my video about that if you want to. But go to the FAA drone zone to make sure you're at the proper place to register your aircraft. You will notice there are two types of registration. There's the Fly SUAS under Part 107 registration. You can register here if you're planning to do anything, uh, commercial work whatsoever, and um, if you are getting your remote pilot certificate, this is where you need to register. There's another registration called the Fly Model Aircraft under Section 336. And when I was talking to my contact at FAA, he said, this is the place for all modelers to register. Um, I guess they're not using the term hobbyist anymore. Um, they're using modelers. So yeah, if you are a hobbyist or a modeler, then this is where you need to register. Keep in mind, you are required to register with the FAA um, if your aircraft is over a half a pound or 0.55 pounds uh, to quote the FAA. Uh, you do need to register. It doesn't matter if you're flying as a hobbyist or a modeler or under part 107. You do need to register with the FAA. But if you are just a modeler or a hobbyist, you are basically registering yourself and it covers multiple aircraft. And when I was speaking with the contact of the FAA, um, I asked him if there was a limit and he done some searching. He got back with me. He said there's nothing that talks about a limit. So I guess it doesn't matter if you have one, 10 or 100 uh, aircraft, then it's gonna cover all of your aircraft with just your single registration as a modeler. You are just required to uh, take that registration number and put it on all of your aircraft. It has to be labeled on your aircraft. But as a hobbyist or modeler, one registration is all you need to cover all of your aircraft. But if you're registering under part 107, you have to register each aircraft individually. So if you have one, 10 or 100, Yes, they all have to be registered through the FAA. So let me know down in the comments below, do you have more than one drone? I personally only have this one Mavic Pro. I, I had to borrow another drone just to shoot the thumbnail photo for this video, but this is the only one that I currently have. But let me know down in the comments, do you have more than one? Do you have them all registered? Are you part 107 or do you fly just as hobbyist? I'd love to hear down in the comments below. Oh, and what do you think about my shirt? Yeah, a little drone pilot shirt. It has the drone on the back and then drone pilot on the front. If for some reason you would like to support this channel, you can purchase these. There's a link down in the description below. Uh, they come in all kinds of different colors. They come in short sleeve, long sleeve, hoodies. So we kind of got you covered on all of that. I'm a blue guy, so I chose blue. Um, I, I like it, but you can choose several different colors. So check them out if you want to. Um, if you do, it does support this channel some. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And until next time, God bless.